the first song I ever played in the piano, well, it wouldn't be a very exciting answer probably. I think I, re I remember because I, I used to teach some students that had uh, the same book that I started with. And the very first thing you do is just learn thumb position on C. So it's something really boring like a... Uh, which is not an interesting answer. But if we're going for like the first jazz thing that I uh, sort of learned because I did classical for a few years before getting into jazz, I think that would have been So What by Miles Davis, which is such a good starting point for anyone, I think, actually, whether you want to kind of just try it for fun or whether you're young and you want to kind of get into it seriously. So What is so good because the, the chords are very simple. It's um, It's like... It's such a good album to listen to as well, and that Miles Davis solo is one of the best, like most perfect solos you could possibly listen to. Um, so yeah, I would say I would say so. What the first one? The uh, that is etched in my mind uh, for for the rest of time. I think. I think my favorite piano player ever. Um, I don't think I know this for a fact. It's definitely true. Uh, is Keith Keith Jarrett? Uh, he's always been like kind of since since I just really discovered him in like when I was 15 or 16 in school, uh, that like really changed the way I kind of thought about playing, I think, because uh, when you first learn about improvising, you kind of learn how to play like a, a solo is kind of quite self-contained and it's like a, a totally a skill in itself as well. But Jarrett to me is almost like the, the master improviser uh, doing these huge concerts, which are like maybe like an hour long and it's just, it's just him playing, improvising constantly. It's like nothing's pre-planned necessarily. Um, but he's such a beautiful interpreter of jazz tunes and folk songs and um, classical music as well. Uh, he's just such an incredible musician. Um, the thing that really sticks out to me the most is it's, um, he was playing this concert in Vienna. It can't, it's come out as an album so you can listen to it but he starts it in the most like it's the most like pure simple start you could possibly imagine. Um, it's like very un-jazzy actually. Uh, something like a uh, That's that's just it's so it's so pure and nice um, and the way that kind of develops over like about forty minutes or something I, I really love that. I think one of my favorite things that I've started learning recently um, I go for a not a non jazz option actually um, it's this and it's the end of this uh, Beethoven piece called um, it's like his fifteenth sonata it's called the Pastoral I think um, and then the fourth movement we have this like really kind of beautiful. Um, this like beautiful melody, so it's something like a. But after like a load of development, to me it's quite, it kind of shows Beethoven's ability as an improviser, because after lots of development, we get this idea. He transforms it into this kind of like virtual, so like passage. Um, I'll have, I'll have a go at it and see if I can do it. I definitely can't do it in the same way that um, like Horowitz or Brendel or anything can, but it's something like a... Just the way that it develops, I think, is really cool. That had a lot of mistakes in it. I've definitely not mastered it yet, but I'm really enjoying practicing that passage at the moment. <laughs> 